Hello wonderful community, this is just a quick update for the Guilty Gear uh, Strive shader in Blender. This new version of the shader contains a lot more connections than the previous one, but nevertheless every node has been uh, described, every node is correctly named, so you can know how to use that. The second thing that this shader brought is the use of many more colors for the vertex uh, colors that will help shade the character in certain aspects okay but as you can see right here she's complete this is a character from Guilty Gear Strive Giovanna and the shading I think it's pretty much outstanding now I wanted to quickly tell you that when she moves outside the camera of course this is her winning pose and she goes back to lay into the into the mascot that she has the dog the camera it's around this close of her so when she um, swipes her hair new strands appear outside the camera and that's why you can see her like doing this marvelous action from this point of view like such and those strands actually come from outside the camera like this I was afraid that while I was animating Fixie to leave certain things outside the camera that they are not really animated completely animated but seeing this in a professional video game it makes me more uh, relaxed that you only animate for the camera now I have not been able to figure out how to bring the camera in but rest assured that it's just a matter of time it's just marvelous to see this in blender look at that fantastic and yes I will bring the the wolf so that you can see the animation being completed probably this pose mode um, it's going to be the signature <laughs> winning pose of her for this blender file and if you have any questions please don't forget to type them in the comment section down below I'll be happy to answer them and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content whenever I upload new videos thank you very much and just in case that you are not using to Blender 293 there's a nifty new option now that if you press alt plus middle mouse button and drag it to the left you're going to get your playback scrub head timeline in the viewport so this is just awesome to to see this playback in the viewport while you drag and move this fantastic look at that She is just marvelous.